Good morning and welcome to a brand new week. It's a week where we have been assured that if we would shout hallelujah every morning uh, for the rest of this week, um, that we would, that all hindrances and obstacles will be removed from our path and we'll be able to walk in the path that God has set for us. Last week, we spent a lot of time talking about preparation and we said that you have to be ready. You have to be ready because you don't know when the Lord will visit you. You don't know when your breakthrough will come. You don't know when your blessing will come. So last week we talked about preparation. And as I looked at them, saw the face of God for this week, I said, so Lord, what next? He said, when you prepare, what next happens? Preparation is usually because there's something new that you want to do. If you are preparing, if you prepare dinner, for instance, it's because some people are going to come or you are going to sit down and eat that dinner. It's a brand new dinner, a fresh new dinner. Um, if you prepare for a journey, um, it's, a new, it's a new start. It's a new thing you are doing. So he said, if we have spent the last week talking about preparation, it's because we are about to enter into a new beginning. For me, <laughs> that was good news good news. So, a new beginning. Isaiah 43 verse 19, the Lord said, I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. The essence of preparation is so that we can be ready for the Lord to do a new thing in our life. And I'm sure you are ready. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of my status quo. I'm tired of where I am right now. I'm tired of some of the things going on in my life. I'm tired of, of some of the dreams I have that have not yet materialized. I'm tired. I need a new beginning in many areas of my life. And I don't know about you. I'm sure you need a new beginning. A new financial beginning. A new marital beginning. I don't know what's going on in your marriage, but no matter what is going on, it could be better. You need a new beginning. And if there's no marriage at all, then maybe there's something new that God needs to start in your life. A new beginning with your children, a new beginning with your, with your siblings, a new beginning in your church, a new beginning in your workplace, your business. We need new beginnings. If we are going to go to our next level, every next level is a new beginning. And I pray that you will have a new beginning today. A new beginning of good things. The Lord said, I will do a new thing. He said, it shall spring forth. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God is saying, I will do a new thing. I will give you a new beginning. He is saying here that that new beginning will come suddenly. Now you see why we had to prepare last week. We had to be in a state of preparedness. Because God is saying to us now that a new season is about to start in our lives. I'm believing for you, wherever you may be. If things are bad for you, I believe that a new beginning of good will start now. If things are good for you, and believing that a new beginning of better will start for you. If things are better for you, and believing God that a new beginning of the very best that you have seen up to date will begin for you. A new beginning. I will do a new thing. In Joshua chapter 4, the children of Israel, they stood on the verge of Jordan. They were ready to possess Jordan, to possess, I beg your pardon, to enter into the promised land. And the Lord began to say some things to him, to them. He said in Joshua 3 verse 4, he said, you will know which way to go. Since you have never been this way before. A new journey is about to start in our lives. We are about to walk a path that we have never 
walked before. Joshua, when he was getting ready to move the children of Israel finally into the promised land, had to receive instructions from God. And the Lord said to him, when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God with the Levitical priest carrying it, then you will set out from where your place and go after it. However, there shall be between you and it a distance of about 2,000 cubits by measure. Do not come near it, that you may know the way by which you shall go, for you have not passed this way before. God said to them, he gave them instructions. He said, let the ark go before you. He said, let the priests, the Levitical priests, carry the ark. Let them go ahead of you. However, let there be a distance between you and the ark. 2,000 cubits, if I'm not mistaken, I believe a cubit is about 1.5 I'm not sure. I think it's about 18 inches. So in essence, he was saying, put about 3,000 feet between you and the ark. Thank God for Google. We can quickly Google a cubit. <laughs> so the Lord said, put a distance between you and the ark. Put 3,000 feet between you and the ark. He said, because you have never gone this way before. In essence, God was saying, don't go ahead of me. Give this space between me and you so that you can see which way I'm going and you can follow me. Don't go ahead of me. Let me go ahead of you. As you enter into this new beginning, let God go ahead of you. Leave space between you and him. The essence of that space is the time for you to process what God is doing. If God is ahead of you, you are prepared to follow him. It means that you are watching him and you are following after him. If he makes a sudden turn, you have that space between you and him to be able to maneuver that turn. And go in the right direction. He said you have never been this way before. God is about to lead somebody on the path of victory at last. And you have, <laughs> you have never been this way before. Something is about to explode good in your life. So let God go ahead of you. Let God go ahead of you. Follow him. Meditate him. That 3,000 feet between the priests and the children of Israel is a time of meditation. When God is going ahead of you, he's going to be giving you instructions. You are going to meditate on the things that he's saying. You are going to process the things that he's saying. You are going to act on the things that he's saying. Because you have never walked this way that he wants to lead you before. It's a new way of victory. A new path to destiny. A new path to blessing. A new path to breakthrough. A new path to a new beginning. Behold! He is doing a new thing. God bless you real good. Remember, it's a new beginning. A fresh new start. And God is going ahead of you. Follow him. God bless you real good. I will see you again tomorrow same time. And if for any reason you've missed any of our reflection sessions we've had about 170, you want to go to YouTube and watch. Just binge on it. I do that myself sometimes. I go back and I begin to watch as I'm watching. A spirit of prayer comes upon me. I begin to talk to God about the things that I am watching on reflections. You are next in line 
for that new beginning. Have a wonderful week. See you again tomorrow. It's from Yobilana Reflections. <music>